The problem, though, is that much of this is based on speculation, on anecdote, on analogies that are inexact. Um, Julie mentioned about uh, boarding planes and uh, using uh, federal buildings uh, ID in, in these places. Th there are a couple of issues here. The analogy just doesn't work, and the analogy doesn't work because there's a big difference between saying we're going to keep 10,000 legitimate flyers off the plane uh, in order to stop one terrorist. There's a difference between that and saying, hey, we're going to stop 10,000 legitimate voters in order to stop one fraudulent voter. Another note with the flying is there actually is a bypass procedure. The affidavit type of procedure that Julie mentioned in terms of voting, uh, if you show up to the airport without your ID, you just go through a more extensive search procedure. So it, it really is an inexact analogy, and a lot of the analysis is based upon inexact analogies as well as uh, anecdotal evidence in, in terms of a fraud, things like, well, Mickey Mouse is on the rolls, and therefore there's the potential for fraud. The question is, is Mickey Mouse uh, voting? Uh, John Fund uh, talks about uh, the terrorists being registered in Virginia. I had my research assistant look into that, uh, call the uh, elections commissioner in Virginia. Uh, they, the elections commission in Virginia could not find evidence. Uh, that the 911 hijackers were registered to, to vote in Virginia. And so my, my point is that we really can't just focus on anecdotes or imperfect analogies. I appreciate the fact that people are supportive of photo ID. I, I think that that's absolutely right. But I think there was a time when a lot of people thought that the poll tax was a very good idea. There are a lot of people who thought that literacy tests were very reasonable because the thought was, hey, we want educated people to make decisions in our democracy and we'll have better decisions if, if people can read the newspaper and engage in democratic debate uh, with, with poll taxes, as Julie mentioned. Thought is, hey, we're going to have money, so we'll have more machines and be able to pay poll workers and we'll have smoother running uh, elections. So, so certainly um, there were times when people believed that poll taxes were good, literacy tests were good, but after you have some public education about numbers and about how this actually works out, uh, you know, I, I think that maybe we can come to a different conclusion.